Okay, JavaScript tutorial part three. Let's review. We got a hello world and a click me button. When we click click me, it runs a function that basically replaces the whole web page with this message. This is a new message. Looking at the code on this page, uh, you can see we've got our function up here in the header inside our JavaScript tags. It's called new MSG for new message. It writes a document which will overwrite the entire web page with this HTML code right here. Uh, we have our oops, uh, our body down here, which has some HTML in it, some uh, header file or uh, header tags here for our hello world, and then our button, which uh, on click calls our function msg from up here. So as we said, we we edited the whole page, but do we really want to edit uh, the whole page every time we click a button? Maybe you do, depending on in, on the circumstances. But usually, you might want to just modify portions of the page, an element of the page. So first thing we do, let's create an element that we're going to edit. So what we'll do here is we will create a new little paragraph tag in our HTML code in the body, and we'll give it an ID. We'll say ID equals, and we'll just call it test1, and we will close our little uh, tag right there, and we'll say this is an old message, how about that? Since uh, our new message is this is a new message. And we will say to close those tags. Now if we save this, you can see when it refreshes, we have hello world, this is an old message, and when we click it says this is a new message. So we still are not modifying just an element, but what we're gonna do is we are going to edit uh, this element right here. And we're going to do that by looking at the element ID, which is test1 in this case, which is just the name we gave it. We're going to come up here and instead of document write, what we're going to type is document get element by ID. And then inside parentheses, we're going to say the element that we want to grab. So inside quotations, inside those parentheses, we're going to say test whoop, one. So it's going to look at the entire page and find a paragraph or any uh, set of tags that have an ID of test one. Uh, what are we going to do at this point? Well, we're going to say dot inner HTML. So what we're going to be editing is the, the HTML with inside that element. And what we will have here is we will say, instead of parentheses, we're going to say equals, and then we'll just give it the string here, not forgetting to leave our semicolon at the end there. So when we click the click me button, it's going to run this function, which is going to come up here, say, okay, look at our document, which is look at our web page, and find the element that's called test1, with an ID of test1, which is this right here. Then the inner HTML, which is going to be this right here, we're going to replace with this. Um, as I said, I'm not that great with JavaScript. I'm kind of wondering if I need to have these uh, paragraph tags here since we're editing the HTML within them. Uh, so we already have those tags. So first off, I know this is going to work. Let's, let's write that. The page will refresh. So hello world, this is an old message. And when we click this button, this should change to from this is an old message to this is a new message without affecting the rest of the page if we've done everything properly. There it does. Let me have a quick look here at the uh, the HTML code. Oh, it doesn't show the modified HTML code. I, if I was running Firefox, I kind of start up Firebug. But real quick, let's just remove these uh, paragraph tags here because I don't think they're needed since we already have them down here since the element we're editing is paragraph tags. So we'll write that. I could be wrong. And okay, we've got this is an old message. This is a new message. Okay. So since we're editing the inner HTML, we're editing what's inside these tags. And since these tags are already paragraph tags, I don't need those paragraph tags anymore. So let's have a quick look again. Once again, I'm trying to keep these tutorials short. We have our HTML tag, header tag. Inside our header, we have our JavaScript. We have a function called new message, which writes to our document. Well, looks at our document, which is our HTML page and finds an element by ID, any element that has the ID of test1. And right here we have our element that has test1, and we're going to edit the inner HTML of that and change it to this string right here. Now this function doesn't run until we call it, which is when we click this button and run this function. 
So that's how it works. Uh, let's do one more real quick here. What we'll do is um, I'm just going to quickly copy and paste. Uh, I'm going to go like so. So now we have two paragraphs right there. Real quick, let's save that. When it refreshes up here, you can see uh, this is an old message, and this is an old message. If we click click me, it only finds the first one, which is understandable. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to change this ID to ID, or sorry, to test two, and we'll just put in some text here. Uh, www.filmsbychris.com. So we have a button. This button still will only edit this first section here. Boom. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another function. So we'll come up here to our JavaScript. And what we'll do is inside here, still with inside our JavaScript tags, we're going to create another function. And we'll call it uh, my web. Give it our parentheses there and our braces or squiggly brackets. And we'll say document dot get element by ID. And we're going to look for the ID tag of test two. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit the inner HTML of that tag of that element. And we're going to have it say uh, oh, I know, www.bashscripts.info, which is my other site, which I don't really mention very much. Um, so now, and make sure this says test, not text. And so when we do this, we still need another button. So we'll say button. What type is it? Well, it's a button. Seems a little redundant. Uh, uh, on, click. I don't know if you need that type button. Uh, like I said, I'm not very thorough with web design. I'm just teaching you guys what I do know. And we're going to, when you click this new button, we're going to run the function my web. And we'll say, let's we'll say, the button will say web page, question mark, I don't know. And then we'll say button to close that tag. So now if we save this, you'll see we'll get another button should be up here right. Oops, I did not uh, do that properly. Let's save it. We should get another button right here. If you wanted it below, you would just add a, a line break uh, HTML code. So now if we click this first one, it modifies that first line. If we click the second one, it modifies that line there. Let's refresh the page, go back to the original. It doesn't matter which order you click these in. So that is um, using functions to edit elements on a page. Uh, and we're gonna get more into this in the next tutorial. Uh, I hope that you enjoy these tutorials. I hope that you're learning a lot. Uh, and I hope I'm explaining things well. Uh, please visit the links in the description. Uh, I'll have the sample code there from this video. Uh, also visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, and I also hope that you have a great day. Bye.